in shock and horror. Shock and horror followed by relief. Like today, it was a sunny Sunday in Montreal. The view of the old port, quite beautiful like this one. But while taking a photo, a 19-year-old woman fell into the ice. You have to understand there's always a risk when you go out on ice. After calling 911 herself at around 7.15 a.m., the teen was rescued out of the St. Lawrence River by first responders. What happens as soon as you fall in the waters, your body's going to go into an instant shock because of the cold. And what happens is your whole torso, your lungs are all going to contract. It literally makes it hard to breathe. The teen was reportedly rescued about 25 minutes after the incident began near the old port ski de l'horloge. She was then transported to hospital in a state of hypothermia. Her life was not in danger. Easier said than done, Adam de Fulvio, president and CEO of Montreal's Institute of Swimming and Canada Swim School, explains that if you fall through ice, staying calm and controlling your breathing is a key first step. You're going to try to propel yourself with your legs up onto your stomach and then scoot on your stomach and stay on your stomach and try to drag yourself as far away from the, the, the opening. Not to climb out from the direction you fell in, he adds, since the ice was already weak there. If you're not able to get out, best thing is stay calm, stay on the side, try to keep as much of your body out of the water as possible, call for help. Many factors affect ice thickness, including type of water, location, the time of year. Minimum ice thickness should be 15 centimeters for walking or skating alone and 20 centimeters for skating in a group. But what if you see someone fall through the ice? The first thing you do is call for help. Call 911. If in a remote area, though, De Fulvio recommends finding a flotation device and rope or object with reach. So when you're really far from them, you get on your stomach and you start to scoot closer and closer until you are able to reach them with whatever the object or the rope is, have them grab it, and then you give them those same instructions, which is they stay on their stomach as they hold whatever the object or rope is and have them kick their feet as you try to pull them backwards out of the water. And if you do get them out, make sure they stay on their stomach and they also scoot towards you. Keeping a distance between each other, important. But a solo rescue is a huge risk, adds De Fulvio, leaving it in the hands of trained personnel unless otherwise is safest. Never go out alone uh, and know the risks. Uh, those are the two most important things. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.